Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking love and marriage huntsville. You guys know why you are here today. We are talking because we need to discuss Kimmy and Letitia turned up Tisha getting it all wrong, inviting Destiny on this girls trip. But it seems people only seem to have smoke, only seem to be upset with Melody Sheree and uh, Shanita Foster. And we need to talk about it because it seems as though uh, people have amnesia. And people want to pick and choose when they want to enjoy messiness. And then they want people to, you know, stand on business. And when they want people to be two-faced and not be two-faced and, and all the things, you guys. So, nonetheless, here's my thing, right? You know, Kimmy, uh, really, if we're going to keep it a book, I feel like initially when the show started, Tisha was a lot more fond of Mel, Right. And I felt it was Kimmy that was always starting off right out the gate, being shady to Mel, calling her the post queen and, and always throwing jabs, right? But then once, you know, the, the more so cheating allegations, did he or didn't he service, which started by Mel's ex-husband, by the way, uh, started to happen. Uh, then Tisha's tone towards Mel changed, right? Because it was like, oh, she's trying to ruin my marriage. And, and if you're trying to do that, I'm going to expose Martell's mistress. And why do they have matching BMWs, right? This is supposed to be Mel's friend. Mel's friend that, uh, you know, Mel helped her get involved in philanthropy, helped her become an AKA at the grad chapter level, like all these things, right? And, 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 and ultimately, the ultimate help with all these ladies is getting them on the show, right? Uh, but nonetheless, I feel like now, more than ever, it has shifted and it's Tisha that has this serious hatred of Mel. Because here's my thing, right? If you and Mel were truly working on things and trying to be in a good place, why would you invite Destiny? Because you know exactly what time it was. You know Destiny and Mel fell out ages ago. What would be the point? You know Destiny is active in these interviews and in these podcasts. Actively as the show is filming. Throwing shade left and right to Mel. The Melometers. Trying to insinuate Mel and her ex-husband had something. All of these things, Tisha. And you still think it was a good idea to invite Destiny. Why? Other than you thought that this was going to cause controversy, you thought that this was going to be your big get back because of the fact the late Kiki was on the Houston trip last season, right? And so you thought this was going to be your big one, right? Except for Mel had other plans, right? Because Mel is always going to anticipate that people are going to try to do some tomfoolery, right? And, and as Mel has stated herself, there's been plenty of times where she has fought her own battles. I mean, heck, I we could argue most of the show she's had to fight her own battles. Even when she did have a husband, she still had to fight her own battles. Uh, because, again, these people, they get in their feelings and they cannot handle certain things. And they're so sensitive. But instead of just saying it for what it is, they're passive aggressive too. They want to throw rocks and hide their hands, too. That's what's so funny. They only want to speak up when it's, you know, in a confessional and when it's time to film the reunion after being dragged all season on social media or they want to throw jabs on interviews or on their social media accounts. But when it is time to be face to face with your so-called person you have beef with, there is zero energy, you guys. And, and, and I truly believe, you know, that Tisha Kimmy and Destiny were, were hyped up that you guys are, are going to do your big one on this trip. You guys are all going to come for Mel. It's going to be, be a big gang up and, and all of these things. Except for not only was Mel inviting Sunny, 
who Destiny obviously has fallen out with, but also Mel was going to have friends of her own, uh, and that was going to be Dr. Shanita Foster as well as Lauren. Now, according to Mel, according to her TikTok live, she said that this girl's trip was supposed to happen at the beginning of the season. That was what she originally had suggested for it to happen for all of the girls to reconvene. She has been begging for a girl's trip to happen much earlier in the season than when they finally decided to film it, right? And then also because Phonics Unhooked was making a big deal about who or didn't, you know, pay for this trip, which to me is irrelevant, right? Because ultimately that that's not what's driving the storylines of this trip. It, it's not based off of who spent the most money or, or whatever, right? Although we know it's a Mel's trip because obviously some extra funds were kicked in uh, for there to be a, you know, splash of elegance, you guys, a splash of class. We, we know definitely there were some extra funds that were kicked in somewhere. Otherwise, if some of these other people were hosting the trip, they would be at Motel 6. So nonetheless, uh, we definitely know that Mel contributed and Mel confirmed herself that originally production would pay for everybody's you know airline ticket however when they were going over the budget and they were asking mel what type of activities and things she wanted to do for this trip once she said she wanted to have a yacht um and, and all these things uh you know then production was like okay well then in that case you know we can't you know you know, ultimately, we were either going to pay for everybody, including her friends. But then Mel said she would pay then for her friends to work out the budget. So that way, the production then could pay for this yacht experience, right? Um, and all of that. So nonetheless, this notion that production, quote unquote, paid for everything, Phonics Unhooked is a lie right right is a lie right then and there and, and we don't know what else mel may have paid for separately uh because i don't believe production was kicking in any funds to any type of special gifts or or anything else that mel had you know wanted to do and, and perhaps you know hiring the dancers hiring additional whoever you know it is not going to be in the owns budget right but nonetheless you know Kimmy and Tisha thought, hey, you know, we this is our, you know, a part of our get back at Mel season. We're, we're going to continue to have Mel be the source of, you know, being attacked since Martel can't do it for us anymore. It is our turn to step it up. But nonetheless, it backfired, you guys. It absolutely backfired because instead, Destiny has to now endure seeing Sunny the woman that she she feels so wrong by and, and i want to say this too right because i see a lot of people who think that the reason people are in support of sunny is because they don't like destiny and no 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 here here's the thing it, it's team nobody really for keeping it a book if we're we're truly keeping it you know 100 right the issue that i have is that Destiny is not being honest in her role in this whole thing with Moses, right? And that is, you knew when you got involved with Moses, because you guys supposedly have a 15-year friendship, which I guess most of it he was in jail for. But nonetheless, when you got entangled with him, he also was not single. Also had a girlfriend and or wife, depending on who you talk to, depending on what day it is, right? Right? But nonetheless, he was in a committed something to the point that Destiny had to be flewed out on weekends, you guys, uh, and, and hold up at the we at the hotel somewhere. And Moses would get to her when he was done with his, you know, main woman that he was dealing with. Right. So nonetheless, you were already going into this, knowing exactly the type of dude Moses was. At some point, you caught feelings and wanted a sample, wanted an entanglement or whatever and y'all made it do what it do right and, and and nonetheless however when we see it being presented on the show we've completely bypassed the marriage and child with liberic you guys we we have now you know escalated this moses thing to a 15 year situationship that was the love of her life and sunny came in as a homewrecker and completely destroyed the family you guys 
and therefore turned around, took Moses under Destiny's nose, and married him, and all these things. No, 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 no. That is where it, 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 it's not mathing for me, right? And for those of you who are Destiny's fans, you know what it is, what it is, right? But but nonetheless, that the timeline's not timelining, right? Now we can go back and forth on you know the strength of the friendship with Sonny and, and all these things, but really the issue at hand is Moses. <laughs> Moses is the f boy in the situation. Moses is the one everyone should be pissed at, right? Like you you should be pissed at Moses for playing two friends or whoever. You should be pissed at Moses that had these women thinking all types of tomfoolery and is still playing in all of your guys' faces, right? Is showing up to scenes with Destiny not wearing a wedding ring. It is telling, you know, Sonny that, that, that this is, you know, that they're all locked in and all of these things. You should be mad at Moses who is running the biggest con of them all. But, but in like all situations, you guys, even with the Martell situation, some of you wanted to be about whether or not you liked Mel. And if you didn't like Mel, you were in support of the 10 year mistress. Make it make sense. <laughs> Nobody's condoning cheating in, in any capacity, you guys. Nobody is condoning any of this. The, the bigger issue for me is the timeline and the stories getting straightened out and and if we're going to really do a deep dive on on, on destiny so-called receipts then we need to also do a deep dive on the partial receipts of oh, not receipts <laughs> partial receipts that she had the audacity to show mel to make it seem as though mel was not contacting her mel was not reaching out to her mel was not for destiny when mel somehow had to get in hold of her uh to kick in those thousands of dollars to help out with the bills and the attorney fees and the like of what she was dealing with when uh the lights went out uh at the house uh that she could not afford to pay and had to reach out to mel you guys but um i wanted to put that in there because it, it seems people have amnesia of, of the links that destiny goes to with her partial truths and we're supposed to just fill in the puzzle pieces right there, there there's no winners in, in any of the situation but, but for some reason, Destiny has compared Moses to the level of a relationship and marriage and kids that Mel and Martell had, and, 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 and she's not going to get away with it. I, I don't care how you slice and dice it, she's not going to get away with it. And, and the thing is, if you, you take a step back from, from your shade and your hatred of Sunny, she's owned. Th this is messy. The, 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 the way that all of this came out, the way all of this started, all of it is messy. She's owned her role. The issue is Destiny is not owning the fact that she knows exactly who Moses was before Sunny was even a twinkle in the eye of Moses. <laughs> That's the thing. Sunny understands what, what it is, right? She understands what happened. The only reason Sunny got pissed was that Destiny went on a podcast tour and, and ignored Sunny's calls and text messages to give her a heads up like, hey, I, I'm 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 with Moses now. <laughs> I, I'm sleeping with Moses. Moses is my dude. Moses and I are getting married, right? But but that that's where things fell apart. I think otherwise, Sunny would have never said anything. You know, she would have never you know brought this to the forefront, right? But but nonetheless, Destiny is using this as her audition to get back onto the show. So nonetheless, Sunny had no choice but to come out and, and give her side, and now quote unquote be a mouthpiece, right? But but it's just so crazy, right? And, and then we have, of course, the other component where people are upset with Shanita Foster for doing what Shanita Foster is expected to do when you come in on a reality TV show, which is to provide content, which is to give drama and all of the things. I'm not sure why people are so shocked. And even Carlos King was weirdly fangirling, and it was so weird. <laughs> I was like, are we in the Twilight Zone? 
So really for Carlos King at this point, if you have a little bit of clout and you've been on reality TV before, that is your gateway, you guys, to get on a Carlos King show. He literally just laid it out for you last night on his Messy Mondays with Dr. Heavenly. That, that if you've done something, you guys, if you were a stand-in, if you were, uh, you know, the atmosphere of a reality TV show, <laughs> if you were the furniture on a reality TV show, Carlos King is fangirling you, you guys, and, and wants you to be a part of his show because he knows you're going to bring the mess. Even if you brought absolutely nothing to your show, right? But nonetheless, Shanita has been here before. She understands how reality TV works. She doesn't need to be coached by Mel. She doesn't need to be given a whole dissertation on on what has happened, what her dynamic is with the girls. You guys can watch one episode and see what the see what it is, right? You can see exactly for what it is. I could argue that Lauren knows way more about what's actually going on with this cast than uh, Dr. Shanita Foster does. And But you just happen to catch Shanita Foster on the right one on the right day if she sees BS. And, and see, this is the problem, right? It's okay for you guys if, if Mel's getting dragged by Martell and you say that Martell's a truth teller, right? It, it's okay for the cast to band behind Martell and you guys come to the conclusion that that means that Martell must be the good guy in the situation and that all he ever did was cheat on Mel, which is somehow not a big deal. And, and Mel seems to be the problem. Mel's call, Mel calls her own demise. But, but when it's a 180, when it's other people holding Tisha accountable when it's other people getting, uh, you know, getting, giving back Kimmy the same licks that she was trying to give to others. Now it's, oh my gosh, you know, people are overstepping their boundaries and, and, and this is supposed to be a girl's trip where everyone's supposed to get along. It's a reality show. The, 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 the core of the reality show is drama, you boys. And this cast never films together until now right so nonetheless if you were expecting a girls trip where everybody was just going to take in the scenery and everybody it was going to be rainbows and flowers you're mistaken we've got trisha and her sideshow bob wig <laughs> you know uh you know thinking she's about to do her big one with this martell reveal you know and we have stormy still stuck on having this you know stank face like she doesn't even want to be there but but you're concerned about the wrong things right you're concerned about the wrong things and when we have messy tisha next week again which was the her purpose of being here of having destiny there right is to instigate destiny and maldrama so she still, even after her whole little spiel about sending a text message uh, to Mel that she was going to invite Destiny and there was allegedly no response, we don't know what phone number uh, she contacted Mel with to send this to. It could have been an old phone that Mel doesn't even use. It could be the phone number that Martell has uh, that Mel doesn't use. <laughs> it, it could be, you know, a block number that, that Mel no longer entertains. It could be a purple phone. It could be a green phone that is stashed somewhere in a safe, <laughs> you know, a safe security uh, deposit box or somewhere. I don't know. But, but nonetheless... Mel peeps game. Mel has seen how these people treat her. And, and it's ironic that Phoenix and Hook is upset about what is being brought to the show. But uh, you're, you're not doing anything to make the situation any better. But Shanita saw for what it was. I, I thought that's what you guys wanted. You guys wanted girl power, right? You guys wanted people to stand up for each other. But it seems it, it's only everybody else is allowed to be in an alliance. Everyone else is allowed to team up except for uh, anybody that is cool with Mel. I, 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 see, I see what the dynamics are, right? You guys like it if it's Kimmy and Tisha just having a drag out session and just attacking Mel and just coming for her, her entire existence. Uh, but if it's the other way around, it, it's a problem. People are too messy. People are doing too, you know, are going too far. People are calculated and, and all these things. And I just don't understand how it's one way for one situation and it's a complete 180 for the other. I don't understand. I, I truly don't. You're talking about backup when Tisha's entirety of the show has been nothing but backup. And when she couldn't use her family anymore. And, and that brief period of time where her and Kimmy were on the outs. Uh, you know, now she's recruited all of the people who are no longer with, friends with Mel. 
she's recruited Destiny and, and her and Stormy or, or whatever right now, but even they were briefly friends. So, so, so it's funny to me that, that everybody now wants to have amnesia. And we're eight, nine, ten seasons in of this show, depending on the interview, depending on who you ask. And now all of a sudden everybody's like, oh my gosh, Mel, I can't believe Mel was shady or did this and blah, 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 blah. And I want to ask you guys this too, right? How would you feel if your so-called friends, right, who knew you and your husband all of these years, did the mute challenge while they were very much aware of how your husband was treating you and and how he was dealing with his mistress and all of these things and still tried to play in your face like they were cool with you but literally your back is barely turned and they're throwing all types of shade and daggers at you behind your back but then they still want to be a part of all of your multi-million dollar deals they still want to be a part of anything that makes you successful or has connections to anybody that's legitimate that they can use you for to elevate themselves, right? But instead of saying for what it is, which is they're upset that Mel uh, didn't need Martell and never did need Martell, was always the brains behind the operation. And instead of just saying they were expecting her to need Martell. Instead of them saying they're upset that Mel backed out of that 40 acres deal, instead of them saying they're upset that Mel backed out of the comeback group, instead of them saying that they're upset that Mel didn't want to be a speaker for free, giving free game for free at their first annual Black with the QUE Expo in Huntsville, instead of just saying for what it is, they decide we're just going to be friends with all the people that fell out with Mel, including the mistresses, right? We're, we're just going to be friends with anyone who has a disdain for Mel. We're also going to go to specific bloggers who we know can't stand Mel to hype them up, to spill tea to them and all these things. But we're going to pretend that we are above it all. And we're going to pretend that we know absolutely nothing and that all of this is Mel's fault. Everything that's happened, it's Mel's fault. And we're just trying to adapt because we're all being bullied. What? <laughs> it, it's the mental gymnastics for me. It, it's the audacity for me. Are we not watching the, the same show? Are we not watching the same shenanigans on social media these past several seasons? So, so if we're going to keep it a buck about who is and who isn't messy, messy, we need to start from the beginning. And that's the problem that I have too. Some of you just started watching the show last week. And some of you just started watching the show this year. <laughs> some of, and some of you just flat out have amnesia because if anything that, you know, proves Mel's point that these people have always been messy, these people have always been T. Martell, then you guys have a problem with it. You guys think that Mel just woke up and was like, oh, I'm just going to get all these people back. I have this list. I'm bitter. I'm evil. Blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. Mel is matching the energy of these ladies. Mel knew that Letitia, as much as she likes to say to Mel's face, everything's good. Everything's on the up and up. She knew Tisha had something cooking, right? And, and so whether Mel saw the text message or not on, on one of her 20 phones, uh, it is irrelevant to me. Mel had the instinct to know that Tisha is not to be trusted. And so Mel said that if she tries it and tries to invite Destiny or somebody that Mel's not cool with, Mel not only is going to have Lauren and Shanita there, but guess what? Sonny, you're coming too. Sunny side up. <laughs> You're coming too if you want to try it. So as a result of that, most of this trip, Destiny's going to be in her feelings. Destiny's going to be upset because I invited Sunny. And to further rub salt in the wound, all of you guys are going to get crappy rooms because you guys didn't have the balls to tell me to my face that you still have a problem with me, that you still don't like me. But you want, you feel entitled to still have the best rooms on these trips, even though you know you don't like me. But you want to benefit from my millions. You want to benefit from my generosity. Make it make sense. So there's that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.